Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Trish Delish. Today I'm sharing with you my mom's recipe for special pancit balabok. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you're ready, let's get started. To get started, I have my extra large pan getting hot with some oil and we're going to saute some onions, garlic, and thinly sliced pork. While this is cooking, I'm actually going to boil a pot of water for our noodles um, so we can get started. While this is sauteing, I've also prepared two of our special toppings. This is just some deveined cleaned shrimp and then also some black mussels. I quickly pan fried those mussels in a little bit of garlic oil and butter um, after I had removed um, the gristly beards in the mussel. Okay, now that the meat is sauteed, I'm going to remove it from the pan, add some water, and we're going to boil up some shrimp heads. All right, so these are our shrimp heads that we're gonna add to the hot water. Um, I've just cleaned the whiskers and the antenna off of the shrimp and we'll dump all of these in there. This is what's gonna give our bensit a lot of flavor. All right, the shrimp have come up to the boil, they've changed color, and now I shut off my heat and I'm going to throw it in my blender pitcher and we're going to blend this up to extract all of that flavor. Now when you blend your soup here, don't forget to remove the stopper on the top of your blender to allow the steam to escape. And then we also want to fill up our pitcher to about eight cups so that when we do strain it, we'll get at least six cups of broth. All right, just blended it for, if about a minute on super high and we're going to strain this through a very fine mesh strainer and as usual the recipe and ingredients can be found below in the description box all right so we have our shrimp broth uh, strained here and we're going to add our pork and any juices back and we're going to bring that back to a light simmer and at the same time, we are going to boil up our noodles. Now these noodles have been um, soaking for about two hours. And now that they're softened, we're going to dump them in our boiling water very carefully. We're gonna layer a few more flavors into our broth and sauce. And you guys remember my favorite friend, some fish sauce and granulated chicken soup base. Add just a little bit of ground black pepper and then taste for seasonings. All right, I have some atuete powder and this is what we're going to use to color our pancette and just adding a little oil so I can add it into our pancit. All right, our noodles are done cooking, so I'll take them off the heat and drain them. To our sauce, we're going to thicken it with a cornstarch slurry. All right, so my noodles are drained and I've returned them to the boiling pot. And we are going to actually mix our sauce into our noodles into this pot. We'll take a few cups, give it a stir, and make sure everything is coated well. I've used about half of our sauce uh, to add to our noodles, and you can see I've added some crushed up pork rinds. Just a few handfuls in there will give a little bit of texture contrast 
to your noodles and your sauce. So I've put all of my noodles into our serving dish and I'm going to top it with additional crushed chicharron, mussels, shrimp, boiled eggs, green onions, and golden garlic. Click on the link above to see how I make my golden garlic. Thanks for joining me today while I made my mom's special palabok recipe. If you enjoyed this recipe and video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up like button down below and share this video with your family and friends. Remember, if you make any of my recipes, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, the Trish Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.